Hi, Blake here, the drink chef and your personal bartender. And today I'd like to show you how I make my style of blue cheese olives, homemade. Okay, and this involves taking blue cheese and whipping it down with a little bit of cream so that it's nice and smooth and will pass through a pastry bag. Then it's really simple to pipe into any olive that you like, black olives, big queen green olives, anything that you can think of. Really nice. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how you do this. Okay, so first we're going to begin by taking our blue cheese and putting it into the food processor. Okay, I'm going to try and break it up a little bit, help the processor out here so that it's not one big clump going through there. All right, beautiful. This is nice. There we go. All right. You don't want to make too much of this. It goes a long, long way. All right. Now, I'm going to add just a touch of cream. You want to be careful because if you make this too loose, it's really not very good. Okay. Now I'm going to whip this up. Nice. It's getting a nice consistency already. You want to make sure that you whip this long enough. You want to make sure that you whip this long enough so that all the clumps are used up so that it will pass through these pastry bags. Perfect. Okay. So, I'll take my blade, now I don't need my food processor, what I do need is a bowl, and I'll take my blue cheese mix, put it into the bowl, beautiful. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. What we're going to do is take a mixing glass, put it down, then I'm going to take my vinyl pastry bag and I'm going to drop another mixing cup right down into it, okay? And then I'm going to nest that right in here. And peel that back. That gives me a perfect little reservoir to put my blue cheese into. And you don't want to put too much into each bag. So I'm going to put two spoons. That's it. Two spoons in this one. And I'm going to show you why we only put two spoons in there. Okay, so I'm going to lift this out nice and neat. I'm going to use some centrifugal force to force this down in here. Okay, so now I've got all my blue cheese down in the tip here. I want to be able to roll this up like this so that I can get a nice knot in here, like this. And I'm going to pull this nice and taut, okay? Now this is a perfect, nice little sanitary way to do this. We're going to clip the end off, and then I can pipe it right into each olive very simply okay so we'll discard this i'm going to cut the end off of this be careful not to cut this tip bigger than what this hole is okay then we're just going to pipe it in not too much into each one try and fill up the cavity All right, beautiful. My favorite is the blue cheese filled black olive. I really like that those the flavor of that a lot. And the beautiful thing about this is when you're mixing your blue cheese, you can use the blue cheese mixture as a vehicle for some other flavors, such as uh, sun-dried tomatoes. I like black black pepper and fennel seed. 
um, pesto and blue cheese olives are really, really wonderful, especially in a martini. So this is how the drink chef does his blue cheese olives. And I've already got a dozen olives finished here. It's been just a couple of minutes, and I appreciate you watching. Cheers from the drink chef. Mmm, delicious.